We're going to do a thrift flip, an upcycle, and even a trash to treasure, all in cottage core. I thrifted this pretty little cabinet door. I don't think it was ever really a cabinet door, but I thought it had the prettiest artwork on it that someone actually painted on there. So I'm gonna try to clean this up a little bit, but leave that artwork. The first thing I did was remove all the hardware because I'm gonna paint the back of this because it's pretty beat up too. I'm going to use Dixie Belle Chalk Mineral Paint in the color Weeping Willow. I know in my last video that I, every project I did was green, but you know, green's considered a neutral and I really think it almost goes with any color. So whatever color you have, you can always add a little green. And I just think this is such a pretty green. I'm going to use this fan brush and some, I think it's drop cloth, and I'm just going to try to freshen up the paint around the flowers and the leaves. And to really get close to those leaves, I needed to switch brushes. and a damp Q-tip for where I got a little too close. There was a little bit of damage on the corner, so I used Gorilla Wood Filler to make the repair. And once that was dry, I gave it a second coat of paint. I used the same green to go around the edges because I kind of want it to look like it was painted over the green. I did want to give this some distressing, so I tried doing a wet distress that never works for me, so please leave me some tips on how to wet distress. So then I use some sandpaper, and you know what? That didn't work either. This is chalk paint, so I just thought either one of these methods should work. So then I pulled out my file, and that finally worked. Since I used a chalk paint, I need to seal it, so I'm going to use Annie Sloan Clear Wax. I want to add some dark wax later, so I'm going to use the clear wax first, and then I'm going to use the dark wax. Many years ago, I took some classes on applying chalk paint at a local store called Bloom, and she said the one thing all newbies do is over apply the clear wax. We use way too much, so I always try to remember that when I'm applying clear wax. Wax brushes don't get washed after every use, so here I'm using my heat gun to just soften it up before I reuse it. The dark wax wasn't really covering the area where I had distressed back to the white paint, so I got this trick from Trish from the Crafty Cousins to, to use some inexpensive eyeshadow. And that worked great. Thank you. 
And just as a reminder, here's the before and here's the after. My next thrift find was this little oak riser. And you can see it has quite a bit of water damage on it. So the first thing I did was scuff the whole thing. Scuff sand, not scuff. This time I'm gonna use Fusion Mineral Paint in the color Blue Pine, and it's one of my favorite colors. Fusion has a built-in top coat, so once it's dry, it's all ready for the transfer. No sealing necessary. And I'm going to show you why you don't take the backs off of the transfer until you're ready to apply it. I'm like really visual, so I think I need to take it off the back of the, so the white's not there, so I can really see what it's gonna look like. But it's gonna stick right here to the top of the carrier sheet on the other transfer. This is so frustrating because I know better And I don't want to admit that I've ruined it, so I'm just going to keep on going and hope that I can figure out a way to fix this. I'm going to cut out another leaf and try to cover up my mistake. I'm gonna give the transfer a light sanding. I wanna to try to remove that halo around the letters. And now I'm gonna seal the transfer in polycrylic. And here's the before, and here's the after. Next is a trash to treasure. I did these jars a few years ago for Valentine's Day, and I'm just tired of them. So I'm giving them a light sanding around the hearts so the hearts don't show through when I repaint them. And, you know, I don't know if I buy the spaghetti sauce because I like the spaghetti sauce or I like the jar. <laughs> Do you have any products like that? You'll have to let me know. Anyway, since I was painting glass, which is a slick surface, I decided to repaint them all in Dixie Belle Slick Stick. Okay, do you have something that you've kept for years because you knew that someday you were gonna use it and you never did? It's, it just sits in the closet while you wait for that day? Well, today's the day. And that is my item, that little square shelf. And I'm gonna turn it into a little tray to hold my jars. And that little hobby table saw, which doesn't cut a whole lot of different things, but it's perfect for this project. It's actually on clearance right now at Harbor Freight for 
So I don't know if they're not gonna carry them anymore, but that's a good price. I painted the tray in Dixie Belle cobblestone. And the paint for the jars, I used my favorite fusion color, blue pine. Dixie Belle cottage door. Dixie Belle secret path. And Dixie Belle weeping willow. And I think these colors are so pretty for spring. I really love these darker colors for spring, not so much pastels. And I did the same clear wax, white wax to each jar. I used wood glue and I glued the little slats into the tray. Now the slats didn't have a real tight fit, so I decided to use my brad nailer. but I needed to be pretty accurate to get these nails or brads in the right spot. And if you look real close, you can already see that I wasn't accurate, but I don't know that at this point because my angle and the camera's angle are two different things. So I really think I had it. But I find out here that I completely missed on two of the three slats. So I had to take my hammer, pound them out, and start again. But practice makes perfect, and I got them right the next time. And if you've made it this far, thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.